Hi guys, thanks for clicking play. Welcome to episode 6 of Bringing Back Brum. Today we take on Aston Villa at St Andrews. We've got a couple of results to run through after the intro. So, after the game with Sheffield Wednesday, we went to the KCOM Stadium to take on Hull. And we didn't leave with anything. We nearly did. It was very, very close. But we could not find an equaliser. And it's fair to say that Diamande was the difference. Came on at half-time for Fraser Campbell. Scored two goals. Jota got one back for us. But alas, we could not find the second. They were beaten 2-1. But we did pick up a win in our next game. Lukas Jutkovic, the hero against Cardiff City. In fairness, we actually deserved to win the game long before the penalty went in in the 81st minute. It was probably the first time, really, that we dominated a game with the chances. Obviously, Cardiff only having the one shot on target. So, yeah, we got a win. It was much, much needed as we beat Cardiff City. Then we travelled to the Den to take on Millwall. Tom Elliott put Millwall in front inside nine minutes and I thought, Christ, it's going to be one of those days. But Sam Gallagher equalised early in the second half for us. Then the domination began. We dominated the game. We just could not find a second goal. It was so frustrating. But we did leave the Den with a point. And we currently have one person in the medical centre, Craig Gardner, who was injured against Cardiff and is out for two to three months with a broken ankle, which is a shame because he was actually getting into the team. We actually started playing him a little bit more and then he decided to get injured. No fault of his own, obviously. So he's gone to see the specialist and he's expected to be out for two to three months. It was three to four, so we have done it. So we get him back a little bit quicker. And that brings us to the league table as you can see on the right hand side so we are 17th Aston Villa are one point above us they're in deep deep trouble they were in the top six early in the season but they have began the slide towards the relegation zone hopefully we can take them even a bit closer to it with a win today ah the rivalries of managers I don't know what I've done to upset him, really. So he hasn't held back in talking about you in the press conference this week. They asked me a question of whether he was coping with it OK. And I, you know, I was like, I don't know. I don't care, really. And he's come out quite aggressively, which I'm slightly like, surprised about. And Steve Bruce is normally quite a mild man of fella on the telly. So, yeah, he's obviously under a bit of pressure, isn't he? Not me. I'm not under any pressure at all. One to watch. Now to look at today's one to watch. He isn't actually an Aston Villa player. He is on loan from West Ham, but he has had the greatest influence over the squad so far this season. It's Robert Snodgrass. The boy is a gifted player. He has been going around the clubs. He was obviously he was at Hull. Now he's at West Ham. He has gone to Aston Villa. I don't think they're going to be able to afford to keep him, so he'll probably end up going to back to West Ham at the end of the season. But... He is a very technically gifted player. He's got great work rate, great off the ball. He's an assister, can play either wide or behind the striker. And with the players that Aston Villa have at their disposal, they're going to be very difficult to stop today. And hopefully we can do so, but we'll see. Going into the match centre as well, obviously we're in the better form. As the odds would suggest, we are the favourites. Only slightly, 5-4 to four, plays 7-4. to four. But we've got two wins in three. Aston Villa have not won in five. So they're a bit like we were a couple of weeks ago before we picked up that win over Sheffield Wednesday. Full house expected at St Andrews, which is nice first time this season to hopefully see us beat the villains. So we're going to take a look at the two starting lineups. So we start with ourselves. So we start with Kuzak in goal. Colin, Roberts, Flint, Grounds, Ndoy, Keatonville, Vassell, Jota, Mahoma with Sam Gallagher up front. Aston Villa start with Sam Johnson in goal. Alan Hutton, Elfig, Terry, Taylor, 
Yedinak, Whelan, Horahan, Snodgrass, El Mohammadi, with Scott Hogan up front. Now I think it's fair to say this one will mean more than most to the Birmingham fans. A win over Aston Villa is always grateful. Let's see if we can do it. Corner Jota will take it. Over it comes. Roberts is free. Oh my goodness me, that's beautiful chance. Jonathan Codgers come on for El Mohammadi fairly early doors. Only 12 minutes in. Colin with the throw. Into Jota. Mahoma. Back to Jota. Pulls it out in Doi. Oh, saved by Johnson. Mahoma with a free kick. It's up, it's down. Oh, it's almost in as well. Finds for sell. Can he get it over? Yes, he can. Elphick heads away. Taylor clears it away, but Colin picks it up. Sends it into the box. Terry heads away. Hurahan completes the clearance. And Doi onto Keatonbell. Wide for Mahoma. Gets the ball in. Gullick is there. Oh, saved by Johnson. Shot her with the corner. Yedinak heads away. Whelan on the break for Aston Villa. Looking for Hogan. They've got a man spare wide. Here he is, Jonathan Codger. They'll square it, but good clearance by Aidan Flint. Shot her. Oh, with a shot. Hit Whelan. Could have gone anywhere, but it's gone for a corner. Finds Gallagher. Mahoma. Oh. Composure man! Wide to Vassell. Get the ball over. It's a good cross. Gallagher's there! Oh my. I thought that was going in. And that is half time. Dominant, I think, is the f word to use for the first half display. Look at that. Four shots on target. Aston Villa have only had one shot. That was from Scott Hogan that went onto another planet. More of the same, please. Come on. Let's find this goal. Codger. Up against grounds. Codger goes for the shot. Oh, my word. Snodgrass. Hurahan. Into Hogan, but straight at Kushak. And that's a shot on target for Aston Villa. Always nice to see John Terry going into the book. Right, we're going to make an early change. I know the hour is not here yet, but we are going to make a change. Lukas Jutkovic is going to come on for Sam Gallagher. On to Hogan. Snodgrass. Oh, side netting. That's a let off. Grounds with the throw. Tries to find Jota. Keaton Vell. Is he going to have a go? Yes, he is, but he shoots wide. Second change coming. Che Adams is going to come on. We're going to take off Vassell. And I'm going to take off Jota as well and bring on Walsh. Liam Walsh on loan for Everton. Just going to encourage them a little bit for the last 10. He's got a bit card happy in the second half, the referee. Keaton fell. Looking for Jukovic. Oh, cynical foul by Yedinak. And I think that might be second yellow card. Yes, it is. Cheerio. Thanks for coming. Five minutes of added time. Let's go for it. Points good. Three's better. Johnson with the goal kick. Going long, that's straight down Maxine Collins' throat. Keep it in, son. Come on. <laughs> Tell it run out of play. Sends it back with interest. Looking for Jukovic. Plays it back to Jonathan Grounds. We're going to run out of time. And we have run out of time. Nil-nil. I can't believe we've drawn that either. But there we are. So yeah, the point is better for Villa than it is for us. They move up to 14th, we stay 17th, but we're four points above relegation. <laughs> ah, maths, good lord. And four from the top six, so yeah, pretty even, Stephen. Ah, chance missed there, definitely. If we'd have scored early in the first half, because the first half we were absolutely dominant, Villa didn't know what to do. And they regrouped at half-time, obviously. But they didn't score. A point is better than nothing. I keep saying that a lot this year, I know. But bearing in mind the respective budgets of the two sides, bearing in mind Aston Villa have got shitload of talent in their side. People like Robert Snodgrass. Codger, where they bought for like £9 million. Hogan, they bought for like £9 million. A point is not a bad result at the end of the day. I know it's not what you would have wanted.
Birmingham fans, I'm really sorry. But we did try our best, you did see that, you know, we gave it a go first half, second half not so much, we didn't have many chances, but there we are. Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. It's a frustrating afternoon against Aston Villa, but a point is better than nothing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.